So today's topic is forget about advertising for just a second. Hey, welcome back to the show. It's Ryan with a GoPro in a Volvo. And I just got a Facebook message and I'm not gonna say who it's from or anything, but I thought this uh, was a good topic for a video because what he said in his message was, he was like, hey Ryan, yo, um, I'm starting to uh, get a hold of some of my customers and try to sign them back up for service this season. And a couple of them have now told me that they're giving another company a try. And they specifically said because his service was a little unreliable last year and he acknowledged that he had some equipment failure and was not able to mow the lawns every time on the schedule that he was supposed to mow the lawns. So this is a major issue. Um, there, there's just so much talk right now about, um, you know, should I be using yard signs? Should I be running Facebook ads? Does this postcard design look good? Blah, 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 on and on and on, right? Well, guess what? It does not matter what kind of advertising you're doing or how effective it is or what the ROI is if you don't have the systems and the structure in place to get the work done on a consistent, reliable basis at an affordable price where you still make a profit. So kind of the point of the video is, is yes, you will need to market your business to get it to grow, um, you know, potentially as fast as it can. Obviously you don't have to market and your business could grow organically through word of mouth referrals and stuff like this. But if you really want your business to grow, you're gonna need to, you know, put some money into advertising and potentially get all that money back times, you know, five, 10, 20, however good you are at marketing, you're, you'll get that money back. But I, I just, I think a lot of, a lot of the guys I'm talking to, I, I can feel their passion and the, their want and their desire to have a big, uh, you know, profitable lawn care and landscaping business. But I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'm not good with these phrases, but it's like, don't put the cart before the horse or something like that, I don't freaking know. I have no idea, but you know what I'm saying? Be before you get the profitable um, you know, lawn care business, you have to build the foundation and the structure and get all the pieces to the puzzle how they need to be before that's even a possibility. So I just, I, I mean, guys, when I was getting my business going, I did not market very much at all. I had my original, um, flyers that I printed out on photo paper right from my home computer and I cut them into threes and I you know I made one sheet of photo paper into three door hangers essentially and stuck them on doors and that's how I got going uh, but I didn't do a whole whole lot of advertising the next several years after that it was really word of mouth and I got into a BNI group which I don't know if you know you guys are familiar with these BNI groups but they really did help my business as I was getting my business off the ground. Now, I, I would personally not go back to a BNI group, but it may be a good idea for you. So it's something to consider or look for an alternative networking group that isn't as quite as structured and doesn't come with all the associated costs of a BNI group. But that brings me to my next point is really the best advertising or anything you can do is, is going out there on a daily basis and doing good work that is gonna do wonders for your, the growth of your business is if you go out and prove to your existing client base that you are gonna show up, you're gonna do the job right, you're gonna charge a fair price, and so on and so forth. So concentrate on doing the work right, right? And concentrate on how, how can I make my business more, more efficient? Where can I lower costs? Where can I cut time? Is there a piece of equipment that would justify the cost and actually make me more money if I spent the money on this equipment? Don't be afraid, like in a, in a perfect world, right? You would, I need a, a new zero turn. Go to your dealer, write a check for 10 grand, walk out with your new zero turn, right? But a lot of us don't have 10 grand to go in and do that. So don't limit yourself to your cash on hand, but 
make sure you think this through, work the numbers out, and if taking on a $200 a month zero turn payment will produce you, you know, I, I don't know, I'm just taking numbers off the top of my head, but you know, $5,000 in profit a month, then that's a no brainer decision. You have to make sure you have the, the work lined up and confirmed and all this kind of stuff. I don't want you guys going out and financing stuff that you don't need or that is just uh, gonna be a bad ROI. But don't, don't be afraid to do that. At the end of the day, it just comes down to being persistent and doing, doing the stuff on a daily basis. Like, you look at anybody who's you know rich and famous, like say Steve Jobs, guess what? Uh, you know, obviously Steve Jobs is dead, but you know, I'm pretty sure everybody knows Steve Jobs is associated with Apple, but you, Steve Jobs did not make uh, the, you know, the first Apple computer. Steve Wozniak made the first Apple computer. It was a, a collaborative effort. Steve Jobs was more the, the face of the company, the talking to people, the uh, public relations and marketing and all this kind of stuff. Like Steve Jobs got, got the product out. Steve Wozniak used his brain and his uh, technical skills to build the product. And then together they hired a team of engineers and, and uh, developers and all this stuff that enabled Apple to become a, a worldwide, you know, very well respected and loved brand. That, you know, they, they didn't do it by themselves and they damn sure didn't do it in a year or two. You know, it was a, a, a very long process. For you guys that don't know, like Steve Jobs actually got booted out of Apple by the board and then he got brought back on. Um, so, you know, it's a, uh, I'd, it's a, I, I don't know what I'm trying to get at here, but just think, think bigger picture and long term and in full scope and and realize that you're gonna need other people if you really, really want to make money. If you really want to free up your time in this industry, if you don't want to be the person on the mower, you're gonna have to hire and train somebody to get on that mower. And if, and, and more than likely at the beginning when you do this you're actually going to make less money for a, a short period of time when you're paying somebody to you know become a crew leader your pay as the owner is is realistically more than likely going to take a dip for maybe it's a month maybe it's three months maybe it's six months but then your pay over time will exponentially go higher so just try to try to look long term big picture all this kind of stuff but still focus on the on the the now in the present like what needs to be done now and prioritize and do those really really important things and stick with it you have to be persistent all these fly by night guys they're coming they're popping their their uh, lawn mowing shops open, you know, they got their truck and their trailer, they're a landscaper, they're charging 30 bucks to mow a lawn, blah, blah, blah. You know, they're gonna be gone as long as you are providing a high quality service to your customers, you're there every week, you're charging a, a fair amount, It over time, you're gonna build a really good business. So just please be patient, <laughs> stick with it, and just keep doing what you got to do on a daily basis but look into the future because you're going to have to make changes if you want it to turn into um you know like kind of like how i ran my business last year like five hours a week you know that that is what i wanted that's what i worked towards for you know eight years i didn't know i wanted that at the beginning or i would have worked towards it a lot quicker and made it happen a lot quicker but it's, it's going to take time. You're going to have to save money. You can't be spending every dollar that you get and reinvest that money back into your business. But as always, keep making money until the next video. And I'm about to hit the gym. We got gymnastics, got all this stuff. There's so much stuff going on right now. It's absolutely crazy. I can't believe it. I'm really proud of myself at how well I'm maintaining. But until the next video, keep making money.